Uh, which brings me to more than C++ for absolute beginners. And quickly, let me unmute. Slobodan, Slobodan. This is uh, the second edition of your book, um, which is an friendly introduction to the C++ programming language. So um, let's hear a bit about your books and what you know the thoughts on those books are and what the audience for them is. Sure. Thank you very much, Jens, for inviting me uh, this time also. Hello, everybody. My name is Luan Dmitrovich. I'm, a, let's say, a professional C++ trainer. I was a software, uh, C++ software developer for almost two decades. Now I, my time is fully dedicated to C++ training. I am the author of a uh, modern C++ for absolute beginners book. I basically like to refer to my book by its second title, which is a friendly introduction to C++. We all know that C++ is a complex language, but ultimately it's not rocket science. So, but navigating this complexity is uh, something I I, I uh, try to uh, explain to both to my customers and, and people reading my book. And uh, yeah, it's not the easiest thing in the world deciding on what to learn and what not to learn in C++. So with that in mind, I'd like to share a couple of tips that might get you interested uh, in the Hubilo platform uh, so that uh, you get the idea. So the book is basically an introduction to C++ language, the standard library, and the modern C++ standards. Now, one needs to decide how much of, uh, for example, templates, the topic of templates, how much of a template introduction is too much of an introduction for a beginner in C++. So deciding on the order of these topics and the amount of topics presented was something that I was, I was uh, really, I put much focus on this while not sacrificing the very important things in, in C++. With that in mind, uh, I also can give you a couple of tips when if you're starting to learn the C++ on your own. So there are a couple of things you should learn there, such as the C++ language itself, the C++ standard library, and modern C++ standards. Now, there are many, uh, there are a couple of C++ standards. My advice would be to start with C++ 11 and move on to C++ 14, 17, and 20, 23, etc. Uh, but uh, C++ 11 should be the bottom line. Often people ask me uh, which compilers should we use. Well, basically on Windows, we can opt for Visual Studio. On Linux, we can opt for GCC or rather G++. And on the uh, Mac OS, we can opt for a command line tools, which is basically a Clang compiler coupled either with Xcode or let's say Visual Studio code. A couple of quick tips on that matter also. Uh, when you're starting with C++, uh, there is a plethora of topics to be learned and to be covered. So deciding on what it is that makes a uh, knowledge basic knowledge uh, backbone in C++ is a, is a lot of work, shall we say. So you should start slow and grow in complexity. So what are the basic things you should learn in, in C++? For example, types, declarations, functions, statements, built-in statements, expressions, etc., etc. And once we, uh, we learn, learn about those things, we can move to classes and templates. And very little about templates, uh, I should emphasize, because template uh, generic programming is a topic of its own. But nevertheless, one should know uh, should know a thing or two about templates, even when just starting with C++. Also, uh, not to forget the references, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. There are there are many topics. So here are some of the topics. Let's go back to our tip three that make the uh, basic knowledge backbone before we jump to classes and templates. I'll quickly, there are seven slides in total, so please bear with me. When starting with classes, for example, these are some of the topics you should uh, be familiar with, you should learn about. And there are many, many things to say about classes, especially when it comes to software designs and uh, using designing classes, designing interfaces, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So before we proceed to that point, we need to establish a solid knowledge base, uh, knowledge base backbone, so that we uh, can progress further. 